Harry and Meghan Markle are now happily married and expecting the arrival of their royal baby with a due date fast approaching in April. Their spectacular May 2018 wedding cemented the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's positions as senior royals alongside Prince William and Kate Middleton, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Although he is settling into his more mature role as a husband and soon-to-be father, Prince Harry is still well known for his cheeky sense of humor and love of jokes. Meghan Markle's surprise message alongside Harry with these photos royal feud confirmed How it is the end of Fab for royal author Katie Nichol, in her 2010 biography Harry and William, recalls one prank that Harry played on his grandmother the Queen that gave an aide the shock of his life Ms. Nichol writes, Harry had always been the more troublesome of the two princes, and even the Queen had been on the receiving end of his pranks. One Christmas she was given a mobile telephone and asked Harry to activate a standard voicemail greeting. Harry insisted on recording personalized message. She claims that Harry's message ran, hey, what's up? This is Liz, sorry I'm away from the throne. For a hotline to Philip, press 1, for Charles, press 2, for the Gorgeous, press 3. She adds that there were also snorts of mirth from William who could be heard guffawing in the background. Ms. Nichol continues, the Queen was told of the hoax message when her private secretary Robin Janverin called up and got the shock of his life, according to an aide. The royal family traditionally spend Christmas at Sandringham, although Ms. Nichol is unclear on where Harry recorded the message. Harry also had a cheeky surprise at Kate and William's royal wedding in 2011, when a wiggly worm toy he had brought to amuse the little bridesmaids and page boys managed to find its way into the official wedding portraits. However, his girlfriend at the time, Chelsea Davy, did make him get rid of a particularly risque reference to Kate's killer legs in his best man speech. In the end, Ms. Nichol writes how his speech on the big day was so touching that it made Kate shed a tear.